Hello Capricorn, welcome to Femacy Lighthouse, welcome to my channel and welcome to another energy reading. Today I'll be taking a look at how you are feeling and how your person is feeling. To book a private reading with me, all of that info is below along with all of the price listings. And private readings with me are an hour long via FaceTime, Google Duo or regular phone conversation. And the best way to be notified as to when I put out any new content onto YouTube is by following me on Instagram. The link is below. All right, Capricorn, let's see what's going on with you and your person. Please hit the like button for me. It helps me on the algorithm. So I would greatly appreciate it. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Please speak to me in reference to Capricorn. But let's focus on the person on Capricorn's mind. Please speak to me about the person that Capricorn is dealing with. Okay. Tell me more about the person that Capricorn is dealing with. Ooh, okay. Okay. Hmm. So Capricorn, this is Pisces energy. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Pisces. You don't have to be. I feel like you're very much in your feelings right now. You're in this state of just thinking about someone very deeply, right? There's someone that you see that you want. There's someone that you want to spend more time with. There's someone that interests you, right? But I don't really see any action happening right now and I don't see it happening on your part. I don't feel like you've made that move that you want to make. There's something that you want to do, but you haven't acted on that yet. You're thinking about what you're gonna do and how you're gonna do it. And you're also thinking about how to accomplish some sort of goal. There's something that you wanna do and you haven't been able to manifest that, but I feel like you're going to start to, right? Now, speaking of manifestation, we have the magician card here, Capricorn, and that's what this card is all about. It's all about putting the work into getting what it is that you want. So I feel that in the near future, you're going to start doing that. There's someone that you want and you're gonna start taking steps to show them that you're interested, right? I feel like this person knows that you're interested already, but I feel like you're gonna work a little bit harder on trying to get what you want, honestly. Um, some of you could be dealing with an Aries, okay? This is fire energy, but I feel that you're gaining or regaining your confidence back when it comes to a particular person or a situation here, all right? And I feel that there's something new happening with the person that you're interested in, okay? Showing up, at, you know, like the magician. So showing up as someone who is some sort of entertainer, probably. Um, this person could be involved in the arts, this person is very creative, and I feel like that's what draws you into them, right? Um, the Three of Swords energy, okay, more than one person involved here. I feel that if you're not getting their attention, then you probably know that, right? Because you're probably saying to yourself, well, you know, I, I always get, you know, whatever I want. But when it comes to this person, it's a challenge to acquire them the way that you would like to. It's like they give you attention and they give you their time, but it's like you want more of it, right? You want more of their attention, but they don't operate like that. But it's probably because there's somebody else involved. But we're going to take a look in a little while. Now, with the Page of Cups here, I feel like you guys text or something, or there is communication already between you guys, so it's not like there isn't, right? I feel like you guys talk or 
you know, it could be on social media or it, it's not, again, you know, what you would like, but at least there's a little bit of something, right? We have the death card here, right? This is Scorpio energy. So you could be dealing with a water sign or there's something happening in your life right now that's changing for the better Capricorn and I feel that your person is changing as well the person that you're interested in is um, having a new beginning and we are in Scorpio season so this card pertains to Scorpio and Scorpio is all about death and rebirth so um, there definitely are some cycles that are ending right now for both of you is what I get, which isn't such a bad thing, right? Endings always have beginnings. Now, what we're going to do is clarify the magician. So let's clarify this energy to see what else is going on. Please speak to me in reference to this Aries energy when it comes to the magician here for Capricorn. Please speak to me in reference to the magician. Hmm. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Now, we have the Four of Wands. So you view this person as someone that you could live with, that you could have kids with, that you could marry, that you could have a fabulous future with. Capricorn, okay? Let's take a look at how they feel. Tell me more about the Four of Wands. Tell me more about the Four of Wands for Capricorn, please. Okay. The Five of Swords. So the Five of Swords in reverse. I feel like if you're not getting their attention, they're still dealing with someone from their past or there's some something from the past still has their attention. That's why you're not getting what you want when it comes to them. Or they keep bringing something up from the past or just referencing back to whatever it was that happened. Okay, for some of you, they could be passing judgment on you. Let's clarify the Three of Swords here. Please speak to me. Okay, that came out right away. So with the Five of Pentacles, sometimes I get that you want to interact with this person, but other times you don't because you feel like they're going to leave you out or that they're just going to disappear on you. Or sometimes you want to give to the situation, but other times you feel like it's not even worth it because your person, again, they're not showing up the way that you want them to show up. They're not reciprocating. So you want to have an equal exchange with this person. It's not equal. It's like you have to give more in order for this to work. And that's why you feel like it's not worth it. This is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Tell me more about the five of pentacles. Okay, high priestess, Pisces energy. You could be dealing with a Pisces. However, this is also a Taurus card. Okay, this person is very spiritual. That's probably one of the things that you're very attracted to about them. There's mystery to them. They're very mysterious. You find that alluring. It draws you in. Please clarify this page of cups here. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, energy. Yeah, there's going to be more communication between you and this person. Okay, it starts off small, but it turns into something that you are going to be putting more effort into is honestly what I'm getting here. Because you feel like you're not getting any 
younger, so you want to go for yours. That's naturally the energy that I'm getting right now. And it goes from the page of cups, the small offer, to the big offer with the biggest sword there. Sword meaning thoughts. Tell me more about the Ace of Swords for Capricorn. Tell me more. The King of Swords. So when you guys interact, okay, this is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. When you interact with this person, Capricorn, please be mindful of how you come across with them. You know, because it could be your words or something that you say that ruins the whole thing. Because I feel like you want this so bad, just be methodical when it comes to your approach. The person that you're dealing with pays attention to absolutely every detail. So that's the only thing that you have to tweak is the communication part. Because the King of Swords is someone who at times can be very blunt, right? So just keep that in mind. Let's clarify the death card here. Please speak to me in reference to the death card when it comes to Capricorn and the person that they're dealing with, please. Please speak to me in reference, yeah, more Capricorn energy. So this is, I mean, you've liked this person for a long time is what I'm getting, right? This connection has been around for a little while and... I feel like you think about this person, you know, more than ever now. That's what I'm getting. Tell me more about this Capricorn energy. For some of you, you're really dealing with another earth sign, another Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo. Tell me more about, yeah, you're looking for a new start in something with someone. It's the second time the magician comes out here. Okay. Some of you guys are dealing with an Aries, an Aquarius, or another earth sign, and you want a new beginning. You want this to work. And it's not something that you want to walk away from. You want to give it another try. get one more card and then we'll wrap this up Ooh, those wanted to come out but let's do that again please speak to me in reference to and we have the queen of wands aries leo sagittarius and then we have the lovers card okay so i think that you are gonna have that new beginning that you're looking for with the person that it is that you want because we have the lover's card here and this is passion and a whole lot of it. So that's what I'm getting for you, Capricorn. Thank you for watching to book your private reading with me. All of that info is below and the best way to be notified as to when I put out any new content is by following me on Instagram. Thank you for watching. Take care.